Hi everyone, Christine here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my new subscribers. I have a design team project for my creative time and let me share with you the products that I've used first of all. I used two of my favorite um, paper pads. It's called Fun Valentines and the Coordinating Scripts Hearts and Solids. Um, I probably bought like four each of these so far. Love those. And then as far as my dies, I use the uh, You've Got Mail die. Sorry. Uh, You've Got Mail add-ons. I use the flag. This set comes with a stamp set as well. I also use the Etched Edge Z card. I use the banners. And I just cut off one banner because I needed to spell the word love. And I also use the layers. And then a must-have, um, I use the Eyelet Doily dies. I use the smallest one here. I also use the negatives from the um, the hearts. And those are just, I just use for accents. And then I also use the A2 Fancy Frame dies and A2 Fancy Frame die layers. And the layers have the stitches on them. Um, I use the Ginger Boy and Girl die. I use the little envelope with the hearts. Uh, the giant ginger die. I just use a little heart to cut out um, this um, glitter heart. And then I use the Prim Hearts and Alpha stamp and die set. I just use a stamp to spell out love. And then also I use this uh, Memento Luxe wedding dress uh, pigment ink. I tried to use um, embossing powder, but that was a fail for me because I'm not a good stamper. <laughs> But I had to use my um, heat gun to make sure it dried pretty quickly. Uh, also used some heart gems from Michaels that I got many years ago. And then I used some wax linen thread I got from Walmart many years ago. I'm not sure if they still have it. Um, let me see if I can find the end. Um, the reason why I like using this is when I'm making bows, they keep their shape. And um, anyway, I like using these. I first found them at Starlit Studio, and then I found them on uh, Walmart. Uh, let me see, and as far as my images, these are some um, discontinued images from Can Company. They no longer exist, but you may be able to find them on eBay, maybe. And this is also discontinued uh, Heartwarming Crafty Secrets. Um, this is the image I cut out. I've been, um, Hoarding that forever. <laughs> and uh, here's my box. Isn't this cute? And it does have a flag here, which I've layered four times to um, keep it sturdy. And um, let's see. And I do have a tutorial on how I um, assemble this mailbox. The only thing I don't show is um, I added a backer piece, and I was inspired by... Um, Melissa Carroll or Melissa from Mo Creations, they're on the design team, and I think they, some of the projects they created, um, they used some sort of backer piece, and I'm not sure if it was this one. Um, but what I did was I took the A2 layers um, and the A2 uh, frame dies, and I layered it on both sides. And then what I did was... Um, I glued it on the inside of the box and um, on the inside behind this um, lid here. And I'll show you when I open this up. And I had it a little bit lower, so I had to trim off the edges a little bit here. But I think if you had it higher, you wouldn't have to trim it at all. Anyway. <laughs> So um, also at the top, I have uh, my banner and I pop that up on red foam. And as I said, I use that uh, Memento Lux Wedding, Wedding Dress Ink. Um, these are the little negatives, heart negatives that I um, use from the eyelet doily. And I have some tool trim on the back there. And then I have my little bows that I created with the waxed linen thread. Um, this little metal white heart charm, I think that's a Tim Holtz charm from many years ago, 
that was a blessing from Lady Cree, who is Fun Creations here on YouTube and Instagram. Hi, my sweet friend. And let's see, and here's some um, letters that I glued to the inside of the slot here. Um, and I do show you how to do that on my uh, tutorial. And this little foam piece is from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I have that little heart gem here. This heart charm is from Lady Cree Shop on uh, MissFunCreations.com. Uh, this little gold lobster cra uh, clasp was from Happy Crafters Shop, uh, Lisa's Shop. And the mailbox uh, add-ons does come with a little heart locket, but it was a little too big. It would have covered up the image. Um, let's see. And so I layered my papers here. Uh, I just tore some papers, and here's a, my doily in the back. I have some cheesecloth, some applique, and some of my flowers that I gessoed. And then I added some seam binding here. This is also from Lady Cree. And I added a little pearl um, charm here and there. I think I got those from Timu. And these little appliques are also from Timu. Um, I have this little lace here I got from Michael's many years ago. Um, and this little XOXO I typed up on my computer many years ago. And let's see, oh, and this is where I cut out that heart using the giant ginger um, die. And then I have some trim from Joanne and some flatback pearl trim I got from Amazon. And here's my flag and the trim goes all the way around and let's see and let me open this up this is a challenge to open up i find that if you turn it to the side it's easier to to do that well easier when you're not on camera <laughs> okay there we go and um and i've also found that um, it's best to layer your um this lock mechanism like twice to give it make it more sturdy give it extra strength and um, here you can see um, this little backer piece I have let me show you I cut it off at a, a little bit here to kind of hide it and then it's tucked behind the lid here and on the inside of the box if that makes any sense but isn't that cute? So I plan on making a pink one, of course. And these are so hard to give away because I love them. I love it. Um, anyways, I'm going to leave the link down below to um, all the products that I've used, as well as to all of my design team sisters and to my creative time. Um, and if you guys have any questions, let me know. Oh, and by the way, I'm also going to be um, including Jill Norwood's hashtag uh, Saturday Morning Makes, which is Sat More Makes, um, which is basically you just create a project, upload it to social media, and use the hashtag. And I'm going to leave Jill Norwood's um, link down below so you can check it out. And I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And I thank you all so much for watching. Bye for now.